today the video is going to be a little bit different because you guys are going to see one of my students actually trading live with me in my live trading video that you guys are about to see right now. This breakout is going to be crazy though if it breaks. They're about to break it. They're rejecting that right now. And Q's still holding though. Right still and right there. No aggression on the ask right there. Now they're starting to come in. I'm taking that. There it goes. Zero to expiration. There it goes. Sold right there. Out. Nice. All right, so now let's go over the trade that we took today on SPY. So this zone, I talked about it in my Sunday stock watch list last night. So everyone in the chat room actually had the same exact zone. And essentially how we played this is either a breakout or a rejection off this zone since this is our resistance zone. You guys see this on the one hour time frame as well. This is our resistance zone right here, which now turned into support just because now it's above it. So we were looking for that breakout. This breakout was looking very nice as well. News came out at 10 o'clock, brought us right up to our rejection zone right there, the top of our rejection zone. So this was looking nice. It kind of fell back a little bit as people were taking profits after a huge move like that. And this is usual. You know, this is what happens all the time after a big run up. It needs people to take profits. Same thing with a nice downside move. It needs people to take profits, as you guys see in every single YouTube video. It's usually that, you know, comes up, people taking profits, then right back out. So this is why I started adding right there. As it was starting to break out, as I saw that the ass was getting stronger and the bid was getting stronger on the tape, everyone knew that we were going to take that 362.17 break. Everyone had the same exact zone on their charts before the day even started as i said it was posted last night and then once it broke everyone took the same exact trade this was a very nice trade a nice 13 percenter just a boom bang and then we were done the day it was nice one and done on the day that was a very nice trade everyone in the chat room caught that if you guys follow me on instagram you guys see all that profits on there as well that was a very nice day very nice trade and then i personally traded one other thing off my intraday zone which is right around this level right here i played it as i saw that it touched the bottom of this came back down that one two that's a very high probability setup and then i traded that i didn't catch it all the way up top i think i sold it right around this level as i saw as we're rejecting that previous high day this zone right here this level so that's when I got out, but that was still a nice trade. And then you guys see this, a nice rejection right there, rejection right there, kind of bouncing in, rejected that top of the zone right back down. Now it's bouncing out of our zone right there. See these intraday zones, this is why it's such a perfect strategy. Very easy and straightforward as long as you have the combination with the time and sales and you're able to actually read that. Your strategy is going to be pretty much flawless, which is why we barely lose in the first place. The people in my chat room see this live and us talking about it live, just executing off our zones with the time of sales, which is perfect. If you guys are interested in my chat room where I live trade every single morning, post all my watch lists, all my zones, everything that I'm getting into, as well as these live trade signals and the education to be able to do this yourself so you guys know exactly how to make the zones yourself and how to trade off the zones yourself. The link is in the bio or you guys go ahead and DM me on Instagram if you guys have any questions. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, yo, Rand, turn that up.